guys, this is Will from NC Alarms, and today, well, I'm going to be showing you where the system's at at the moment. I've been doing a little bit of work on it. Clearly, this pull station is not pulling. In fact, it doesn't even have a monitor module in it. I'm actually using the BG12 LSP, which is why I can use this pull station without the key. So I have a conventional pull station here, BG12. Up here I have a classic P1224MC, and over here I have the same thing. But, this is my notifier FMM-1, and you can see it's polling quite quickly, and it's polling in green. Questions are starting to rise. Loop 1, Module 2. This label is incorrect, although... <clears throat> It won't be if I can get myself a pull station that works on the loop, and I'll have that hooked up so that I can get my labels proper. Anyhow, this is monitoring this at the moment. And up here, I have a notifier FSP851, photoelectric smoke detector, also pulling in green. Well, I've been waiting a long time to show this to you guys. To be able to show this to you guys, I've known I was getting this panel for years now, and I finally got it in my hands, but it's not exactly what I thought I would be getting. This is my notifier NFS2-640. You can see I have the system normal, batteries are down here. I don't like where I put them, but that's the best place I've got for them at the moment. Do a quick lamp test. There you go. It's the messiest wiring job you've seen on this wall before. But, if I can acquire a cabinet for this, single, uh, single bay or more, then that will soon be fixed. Now, I didn't get the panel cam because they used it in the retrofit when they replaced this panel, but I did get the panel door and some of the dress plates, as you can see, part of the mess in here. But that's the notifier door, dress panels, sticker for the company I work for. And yeah, it's a little set up for now, but I've been learning how to program this panel through the interface for since yesterday. Haven't even had this panel 24 hours yet. Probably will have, well, maybe not. We'll see by the time you see it. Anyhow, I think there's really not too much explaining to do. So today I'm going to be doing something I don't do very often. I'm actually going to do a walk test. So we're going to go into programming and we're going to enter the password, which I am negligent to show you until I can find it in a manual. And we're going to go to 6 here for walk test. So let's press 6 and we'll press enter to start. We'll acknowledge the system trouble that walk test is active. So let's go ahead and we will test this module here, test the monitor module. So make sure my earplugs are in. And here we go. That works. We'll go up here, test the detector out. Come on. And the device's LEDs stay illuminated until the end of the test. So, 
We'll press escape to abort. Detectors initializing. Please wait. And we get a system initialization trouble. Now all we have to do is wait for the system to initialize and then we can test the system in full fire alarm. See you guys when this is initialized. All right, now we're back. System is initialized and it is normal. Well, as normal as you can get for not having a cabinet. What is it with me and not having cabinets for panels? One, two, three. No cabinet. The only one I have a cabinet for is my dead S3. Anyhow, let's go ahead and do a full fire alarm and then we'll do a drill and the video will be over. So, let's activate this station. Here we go. Three, two, one. Named this for a reason. Jack and Jill bathroom right here. And this pole station is by that door. Acknowledge silence. And you can see I have selective silence turned on. Still synchronized. And just like New Age Server Alarm said, it is blinking the coding option, the sync protocol. So, let's hit the drill button. Silence. Signals are silenced. Alright. Pull station over there is reset. And back to normal. So I think we can go ahead and we can reset the panel. One of the things I love about this panel is how quickly it resets. It's already reset. <clears throat> the only thing you have to wait for is the system initialization trouble. Anyhow, that'll be it for now, guys. Thanks, guys, for tuning in to this test of the Notifier NFS2640. If you like what you saw, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time on NC Alarms.